What's up, GDQ? Hey, everybody. I'm Tassel Foot. Uh, please call me Tass. This is Untitled Goose Game. Uh, welcome to welcome, welcome, welcome to Awful Goose Done Quick. Um, I, I want to. I just want to test something really quick. Honk. 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 All right, cool. This is what it's like to be a rock star. <laughs> Uh, so just really quickly before we get going, uh, I want to introduce the couch. Couch, if you want to say Hi, who you are. Hi, I'm yes, I'm the current any percent world record holder for this game. <clears throat> and we want to make sure, please, 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 meet the donations <clears throat> so that yes gets to show off uh, all the ridiculous glitches that there are in any percent. Yep. I'm Shatter Mage. I also run all main tasks like Tasselfoot does. I'm the former world record holder in this category. Uh, I'm Ritz Honk. Blues. Uh, I've run this category before. I'm also a former world record holder for 100%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm Aquana. I'm also a former world record holder in 100%, and I've also run uh, all main tasks before. Yeah. So all main tasks is we're going to showcase every single task that you can get before the credits of the game. Uh, no hidden tasks, no uh, speed tasks. Uh, and we're going to get started right now for you guys, because I know you are looking forward to honk. Uh, timing is going to start on first honk. So if we can count it down uh, from five, four, three, two, one, honk. <laughs> Hello, I am Goose. Um, so this, this is all main task, and there are not too many glitches, I'll say that, uh, throughout the run. Again, more reason to donate for Yisk any percent. Uh, his run is all glitches. However, uh, we are gonna, gonna do a thing right there. Um, technically not a glitch. Uh, <laughs> techni technically not. That's allowed in, in uh, glitchless categories. We're just kind of just go right through there. Um, so this game has four main areas, and we have to perform like six to seven tasks in each area, which will then unlock a final task. This is groundskeeper Willie. He is going to be, we're going to be fighting with him Mono Aguso in the beginning of this game here. Uh, and so I waited there in front of that gate uh, because it, it's going to aggro him down into the lake, which he needs to get wet. That's one of the tasks, and he will do that. Uh, he just went and uh, slapped a demulch, which is fine. Um, each area has a gather task. These are the longest ones in each area. Um, and the longest of those is the picnic. Uh, and so we need all of these items. We need four items from within the garden as well. That's what we're going to spend most of our time here in the garden doing, is doing these gather tasks. <clears throat> we just got to grab his keys real quick, though. No big deal. Uh, the biggest part of RNG throughout the entire run, and this game is full of RNG, is right here. That's fine. Uh, this is this is actually not fine. Uh, it'll be all right. Cool. No big deal. Uh, it is the f yeah. Everything's fine. Um, we need to get the jam, the pumpkin, and the thermos from inside, and we do need him to see that they are missing. Otherwise, we're just going to lose some time. Uh, but but groundskeeper Willie, he can start in like eight different spots, and then he can go to any of those other spots after uh, about five seconds. Um, so trying to manage where his position is throughout the garden is the hardest part of the entire run. Um, most resets for this category happen, and actually most categories happen here in the garden. Uh, that's fine. Everybody brings a pumpkin to their picnic, right? Like that's that's pretty normal. I bring well, I a do. pumpkin to my picnic too. Yeah, uh, I have so one without it. I like cabbages too. Cabbages. Uh, I don't really know where Willie is right now. That's slightly problematic. Oh, cool. He's over here. Oh, um, great, great RNG we got. <laughs> terrible RNG, but that's Bye -bye. fine. We're we're just gonna honk him over here. Honk. Um, and, and, then, and then we're going to use that water. Basically, he's going to go over there, he's going to uh, hear the water, and, and this whole game is full of like prioritization um, and just the NPC is kind of figuring out what's missing and like thinking about it a lot. Um, so he's now thinking about his thermos. We also need to get his hat, we need to get Rake in the lake, and we're just going to do all of those things. We also need a carrot. Uh, it's the last thing we need for the picnic basket. So we're just going to take that hat. It's no big deal. Uh, pretty precise place. We got to drop it right there. And he's just going to wonder about his hat, and we're just going to steal this rake. And he's not going to see us at all. Or he, <laughs> or, or he is. 
And he's going to take it from us. That is, oh, no. That is not oh, nice. No. That is nice, not at all. This is what I was talking about when it comes to the RNG. Um, because he didn't... <laughs> he just took it. That's, <laughs> no, that's just not nice at all, man. Um, because... Oh. There, cool. Uh, because he didn't see the pumpkin earlier, he had to aggro on it now. Um, and that was, that was a little un unfortunate. Physics is a little weird in this game, too. Uh, we're kind of stuck right now. You can now. do it. Come on. It's, uh, the other end. It's, maybe we'll go there the other go. side. There we go. Yeah. So, um... Oh, no. Oh, okay. all right. Now That's he's wondering fine. what happened to the rake. It's fine. We're going to go to right there, not actually the lake, because we need that carrot first. And when we get the carrot, it's going to trigger his final task. Uh, you have to do all of the tasks minus one in order to get the final task. So he's going to go over to do that, which is putting up a sign, and then we're going to honk, and, it's, and then he's going to like fall on his butt. Let's go. Let's so go. Rake, rake in the lake. All right, we're done. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> just, just a tip there. Um, all right, cool. So we're a little bit uh, off on the cycle just because of the, the issues with the pumpkin and whatnot. RNG couldn't really deal with. Uh, but we're going to hide over here, honk, and we're going to move on. Uh, Iggy, if you have any donations, great time to get one or two in real quick. Actually, uh, yes. Get ready to run 90%. We have met the incentive. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for meeting that goal. You guys are in for a treat with that. That is fantastic. Nice. So we're now in High Street. Um, don't don't blink. High Street is very fast. Uh, we got to put the boy in the phone booth. We got to get the boy to buy back this toy plane. Uh, lady, can you can you come over here, please? Thank you. We need to break her broom. Um, no, not like no, not like that. That's fine. She's she's kind of RNG too. Uh, <laughs> physics is sort of a thing in this game um, when it when it wants to be. Yeah, she's not going to catch us. We're the fastest goose in all of High Street. We got to get into the TV shop. We got to do that. Uh, and we got to get the boy's glasses as well. We, we just terrorized this poor child. Uh, he's, he is going to have a thing for birds when he grows up. It's going to be therapy. Yeah, it's going to be a problem, probably. Not our problem, but his problem. So we, we took this apple because uh, the gather task here is to go shopping. And one of... Oh, that's not good either. Uh -oh. Come on, lady. All right, it's fine. Okay. We're yeah, we're, we're good. Uh, we have to go shopping in here. And so when the boy buys back soon. Yep, there we go. When he buys back his toy plane, it distracts the shopkeeper and we can kind of undisturbed get all of these items. We got to get some canned product, maybe some beans. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, this, this unknown cleaner here, uh, that fruit or vegetable, which was an apple, this hairbrush. We also need to get uh, some loo paper, uh, which I believe in the States would be toilet paper, and uh, a used toothbrush. Not specifically used, but that's really the only one that's uh, available to us. We honk to cancel out an animation right there and then lure her over with the leak. How many tries are we going to get for this toothbrush? Yeah. Uh, oh, first try. Ooh, How about nice. that? that? That is the trolliest toothbrush you've ever seen. And we're just going to lock her in here. So uh, we're just about done with High Street. We just need to finish up with the toothbrush, uh, the loo paper. Oh, no, our cleaner ran away, so we're going to fix that too. Again, not a big deal. Uh, one more second here. Right. Oh, nope, that's that's the broom. There we go. Okay, All right. Good. So <laughs> once again, we're going to carry something. That's that's High Street, and we completed it uh, in the speed test. So we do do two speed tests here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rocket classic here with the Viewmaster. Uh, Iggy, if you have any donations while we do a little goose travel. Sure thing. We have a fifty dollar donation from Xerxes, a two hundred fifty dollar donation from Zach zero six two four, a five hundred dollar donation from Steady one two seven, and a twenty five dollar donation from Eric one eighty three. All these awesome <laughs> donations share the same comment: a single word. Honk! 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 Thank you, everybody. So this is the back garden. Uh, we have the tidy and the messy neighbors, but those are really hard to say. So we just call them Roger and Tina. Uh, Roger can start off on a couple different cycles. That was teacup cycle. And uh, we're going to steal his, his slipper and his newspaper. The newspaper cycle is really, really long, and he doesn't need it for anything. First That's try. a glitch. That's a good glitch. Uh, yeah, that was good. good. That was a good hat clip right there. Um, first try, every try. And we're going to steal his stuff. So we took the Viewmaster because on the other side, we have to uh, dress up this statue, a.k.a. the bust, and we need an item for the head, for the eyes, and for the mouth. And so it's faster to get the Viewmaster or kind of a pair of glasses or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> then it is to just steal it from Roger. And, and it also provides a really nice distraction. A little dance, no big deal. 
There you go. We just want to distract her a little bit uh, so that we have time to become a pretty goose. Who doesn't want to be the prettiest goose in the back garden? I don't think she's cooperating, though. She's deciding. She's all, a lot of the NPC movement is all RNG, so sometimes they just go in ways that we don't want them to go. But we'll just lure her down here, and she'll fix the gate. Because, again, uh, all of the NPCs, they have various prioritizations and things that they'll do, and so the gate is super high priority for her. But when she looks away, there we go. She doesn't know. We are the goose statue. She has no idea that there is an imposter where her statue was. Bye. Oh, look at that. It's a goose. Yes. There we go. We are majestic over here, folks. <laughs> majestic. Uh, so we did miss the cycle here that we wanted to get. Uh, a little bit of time loss, no big deal. Back garden is routed really tightly, and so everything that we do is in a specific order. And most of it is so that Roger will not go to the bottom of his backyard. That's fine. We wanted her to see that. And so we, this is for the laundry task. That's the gather task here in back garden. Uh, we intend, Sorry that we lost the ribbon. I know everybody wanted to keep it, but it loses time to keep it on longer than that. So... Yeah, so uh, for the laundry, we need to get the soap, we need a slipper from Roger, and we need the bra plus two socks. Uh, oh, cool, she's coming down. Awesome. So there's a, a really tight cycle that we're going to try to make through all of this to get the rose clip, and it involves keeping her appropriately distracted. She is not appropriately distracted right now, so we need to fix that. And then Roger is also on a really tight cycle uh -oh, up top. Get it. Uh, where we're going to get his slipper. We'll yeah, we are. And then we got to turn around, show him his butt, assert dominance. That's what, how we do it around here. And then let him get chased down here. And, uh... Are going to make it? I don't know if we're going to make it here, guys. Um, it's going to be close. I don't, do you think we're going to make it? I think, I think you got it. Oh, God. You got it, just barely. Oh, God. I'm not actually, I actually think we might oh. miss it. Oh! Are we going to miss it? Oh, nice. we got it. Hey. <laughs> that, that, was, that was a little close. A little closer than I wanted it, but it's fine. Uh, so we're not actually done with back garden. We still need to break this vase. If you play this casually, uh, you probably had Roger throw it over, and you're going to find out another way that you can break it. In the meantime, uh, Iggy, more donations, please. I'm Fantastic. sure there's some great ones. Fantastic. Shatter Mage 113 from your couch donates $10 and says, Water foul day. If it would be the goose game, any percent doesn't get met. Well, it did, so don't worry. Thank you so much, Shatter Mage. What a terrible pun. $50 from Med Mage 3555 says, new task, race 2 million. Honk! We're so uh -huh. close to that, too. Holy macaroni. And we have 385. <laughs> we have raised 2 million nice. people. <laughs> this is fine. This is, this is, this is all fine. This is fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome job, everybody. Oh, boy. Love it. Do a little goose dance for a flower. No, don't, don't look at me, sir. Sir, thank you. So this is the pub. This is the final area of the game. Um, this is also very um, frustrating sometimes and RNG heavy uh, because the old man has very long cycles, two of them that we need to do, but we just got one of them out of the way. And the other is this lovely pub lady who is one part linebacker, one part terminator. <laughs> the pub and the terminator. Uh, so Don't worry, basically, she'll be back. yeah. She, oh, she, yes, she will. <laughs> uh, so these, we're gathering all these things for the final gather task, which is setting the table. We also need to get that toy boat, and it has like a 20-second timer to it. So, you know, we we kill um, two ducks with one stone. No, no killing of geese around here. <laughs> and we we actually did a great job. Uh, normally, she is. Way, way, way trollier than this. I don't really actually know what... I don't know where she is right now. Oh, look at that. Hey, wow. that's cool. She doesn't know that anything's missing. Um, that actually might be a problem because we do need her to aggro on all of the missing items. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. It'll probably be fine. In the meantime, we just need to watch the old man and make sure that we can get his dart cycle because if we do miss that, it's going to be 40 seconds of waiting around and just randomly honking. What a shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a shame. I'm sure you guys would be really disappointed with me just randomly honking for 40 seconds. Ah, see, there we go. There we now go. she is seeing. Let's, let's just check in. Uh, all right, so he's getting ready to go there. I'm not going to do anything else in chance missing this cycle. That would be bad. And oh. Perfect. 
I'm not really sure what the pub lady's doing. This is uh, kind of not what she normally does, does, but, you know, we'll roll with it. And... <laughs> Would you say this has never happened before? No, it's happened before. Yeah. Just oh, not rarely. All this has happened before. It's, yeah, just, just rarely, <laughs> rarely does it happen. So we did finish all of our items here. We did want to... Basically, what we wanted to do was um, kind of honk and aggro her down here. Uh, but she decided to just do whatever she wanted. The, the fact that she wasn't trolling actually wound up coming back to, um, to honk us in the butt. <clears throat> and so we are on to our final, final task here. And um, that is to drop a bucket on Barkeep, uh, Bar, what, what on earth is he? This is, Vinny. This is Vinny, yes. <laughs> this is Vinny. Uh, it, basically, he's our bouncer. He's, he's our bouncer, Vinny. And uh, looks like we gotta box, make sure. Looks like Box Girl's not sure. gonna cause a problem today. Yeah, Box Girl, no issue whatsoever. We do yeah. usually call call her Box Girl because yeah. she tends to get in the way. This is just a swag clip right there. Swag. Saves no time whatsoever. Saves no time, but looks really darn good. Uh, we do have one last task that we have to do from the pub. We haven't done them all once again. Um, just for routing purposes, it's faster to just grab this pint glass and drop it in the canal on our way to the model village. So completing the four areas, that is nice. not the final part of the game. We do need to grab the bell and take it back home. Um, we're, this, this, is, this is where we're going to kind of deviate ready, from your casual play. We're, you know, we're just going to go through there. I do need little Timmy, though. This is little Timmy, by the way. Say hi to little Timmy. We're going to use little Timmy to just hover up the castle and grab the bell. Nice. Bye, Timmy. And then we're going to swag walk over the model model village and then just, just kind of pop back over the top. The model village is super cool, though, by the way. I highly suggest you check it out. If you've played this game casually, you'll know that the bell return is incredibly trolly and frustrating to do. So we're just not going to do it. <laughs> Instead, we're just going to clip first the game. Try. Nice. Nice. And uh, this has basically been Untitled Goose Game. Uh, I really just want to do some shout-outs right now as we finish up. And mostly shout-out uh, Rico, my fellow uh, admin for the Goose Game Discord and, and moderation team. Uh, Rowan, who is the current world record holder of Glitchless and AMT. He beat my time a couple days ago while I was here. So you're awesome, Rowan. Uh, everyone else in the Goose community all you guys on the couch, everyone who's been pushing this down since it started. Time. Hey, that's time. Fifteen forty-three. Fifteen forty-three. That's that's yeah. in the okay range. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Untitled Goose Game. I do. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Untitled Goose Game. Uh, quick reminder: if you joined us after the introductions of last run, I'm yes. That is Tasselfoot. That is Shatter Mage 113. Is that right? No, just no numbers. Just no numbers. Just Shatter Mage. <laughs> that is Ritz Blues. And that is Aquana. And I'm Yisk. So the most important thing you're going to notice at the start of this, if, before we even do anything, is that I'm playing in German. Why are you playing in German? Yeah. Uh, it saves time. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. But <laughs> I, I, like to cons I like to think <laughs> that it does. You got to tell them it saves time. It saves like one frame. It takes one frame. <laughs> you know, all those text boxes you have to save. One yeah. Frame. All right. So let's just get started because the, I mean, why not? So count us down. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to Untitled Goose Game Any Percent. It's the best category, in my opinion. The only category, in my opinion. <laughs> the only way, right way to play the game. As you can notice... <clears throat> It's kind of glitching out a bit. I don't understand why. So we're going to grab this boot and we're going to try to do this. I failed. That's, ep that's It's fine. That loses like three seconds. That's nothing. Yep, that's a reset. Reset. <laughs> got I would have reset like ten seconds ago. This was the run. <laughs> so here we're just going to deviate from the path. Go up there. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. <laughs> going to try to clip through here. Nice. First try. Nice. Walls are optional. That clip is actually a lot harder than it looks. So there we're going to part ways with the boot. <laughs> Say goodbye to that. Say hi to plate. All hail plate. All the plate. So we're going to just try to go through here. Come on. If, it's, if it wants to cooperate. <laughs> there we there go. We nice. Totally normal. <laughs> so, yeah. We're already at the bell, by the way. It's, like, it's been like, what, a minute? 
in 12 seconds. Yeah, I don't understand why people would do tasks that's slow. <laughs> so we're going to ignore Timmy and just go up the edge here. There we go. <laughs> and that's the bell. Oh, I love it. So now for the absolute worst part of the run, which is getting the bell out. Why don't, why don't you just go the way that I went? So there is a reason I don't go the way that Tasselfoot just went, and that is because there is a massive barrier around pub before you complete it, which is why we have to do that, flip through, back through pub. That trick is actually really difficult to do, by the way. Yeah, it's one of the harder tricks. But this one's the hardest. And yep. then for the absolutely hardest trick in the entire run, which I can fail, and this is not good, so let's just get it. There we go. That is really hard. That is very hard. It is possible to clip out, but that's a bit more risky than I'd like to do during a marathon. At least you're just going to stare and watch you try to... Yeah, I'm just going to let them drop aggro real quick, because clipping on the left side here is a lot easier. So let's just... Oh! Oh! oh. oh. You get it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And that, my friends... It's untitled Goose Game, any percent. <laughs> that's the run. That's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. It's probably the shortest yeah. run this yeah, EDQ. So I'd just like to thank my mom and my dad for bringing me here and raising me and uh, <laughs> the entire community. Oh, oh. So time's coming up. And now. time. <laughs> hey, sub three. There you go. Did I get sub three? 259. 259. Well, 259. Even with the showboat.